Last week, three undersea cables carrying internet, voice, and data traffic from the Middle East were cut. Now, for any one of these cables to be cut is an unusual occurrence. But for three separate cables to be cut over the course of three days is unprecedented. And in this age of official distrust, speculation about the cause of the cuts is running rampant. Welcome to Collateral. The vast undersea network of cables that makes up a large portion of the Internet's nervous system. The first two cable cuts, which occurred in the Mediterranean Sea last Wednesday, caused huge service disruptions in Egypt and India. It also caused problems in other countries in the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Qatar, and Kuwait. Originally, speculations as to cause centered on a ship's anchoring, and that easy explanation was picked up by the corporate media. But now, Several accounts coming out of international news agencies report that a ship was not responsible for the cable cuts. Apparently, there were no ships in the area for up to 12 hours before when the cuts occurred. So what happened then? These cables are heavily insulated, and cuts don't happen by themselves. As of Sunday evening, there were reports of a fourth cable being cut or damaged, but in other accounts, it's simply been shut down. Now, just how exactly are we going to get to the bottom of this story when the story's at the bottom of the sea? The stakes are very high, and so far the information that's come out hasn't exactly been inspiring for its accuracy. And with a story like this that's so ripe for speculation, it's very easy for it to become Cablegate unless some reliable information is produced. If the cable cuts weren't accidental, the story takes on an entirely different color. Now, it's going to be difficult to blame this on terrorists, because cutting cables beneath the sea isn't splashy or graphic, and besides, there's much easier ways to get the land-based technology if terrorists wanted to be disruptive. If this was purposeful, it was probably state-sponsored. India, a rapidly growing player in the world economy, was the most affected by the cable cuts. Was a message being sent to that country? Were the cuts designed to coincide with the opening of the Iranian oil bourse, which is going to price oil not in dollars but in euros? and which expects to do a great deal of business on the internet? And what about the fact that the third cut in the Persian Gulf severely affected Dubai, which is a major financial hub for the Middle East? As is befitting a story playing out several hundred feet beneath the sea, there's likely much more to this than meets the eye. Hope to see you next week.